Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RecN, and this is a behind-the-scenes video where I'm going to show you how I'm doing dynamic transcription on my desktop for me so I can watch some uh, conferences as they're, as they're coming, sort of capture the, the dialogue in the background. Sometimes I'll capture the slides and things like that, and I'm going to show you that setup right now. Um, so this is my desktop. Uh, I'm using OBS to capture my streaming, and I use that as part of my whole whole rig and setup. So it's all green screen. Sorry, folks. Um, and the behind so behind the scenes, that green screen, I have in this case my the content that I want to see. This is an excellent session in VMworld uh, with Laurie Beer from JPMC talking about what they're doing. And so let me. Um, Throw in a little background here so you can see here's the audio. Uh, you can hear my music like in the background. You what you exactly like it. has uh, been the bank's approach. Sex location, nothing Not matters. From a excellent, excellent group. But overall, and um, I can cut that out of your, your feed so you don't hear it. But so here's the idea. What I really want to be able to do is come back in. Here's my volume control. I'm using Linux as my desktop. What I'd really like to do is turn this off so I can work, listen, be on a call have things going, but I don't want to lose what they're saying. That That's really valuable to me. So what I can do here is, on this window, I have Otter AI, a tool that I've, I've come to rely on quite a bit. It's, it's a voice transcription system. I can say I'm going to record something, and normally it's going to pick up my uh, microphone. So for example, over here, if I was letting this recording from, from Google Chrome, which is where it's recording from, take my microphone, you would see it do live transcription of me talking to you. But what I want to do here is actually use the uh, monitor that I have going so that I can go through the system. So in this case, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Instead of using my regular audio, which is on this, this is my headphones right here, I can send it to another audio output I have, in this case my monitor. That looks great. So I'm going to re record from my monitor's output. And then over here, for this system, I can play back. Excellent. I can play that back on that same monitor, boost the volume a little bit. And now that I've connected the output from this browser to the input to this browser, I'm getting live transcription of this conference session. So super handy for me to be able to come through and, and make all that stuff work. And now I can monitor what's going on. If I lose attention for a little bit, I can scroll backwards and see what's going on. Sometimes it's even handy to capture a picture. So if there's a slide or something I want in my notes, I can come back into my screenshot, select an area to grab, take that screenshot here, I'll include Laurie's picture here, save that. And then Otter allows you to capture that screenshot. So here's my screenshot adds it right into the notes, and they're going to talk right around that image. So if I'm capturing something I think is really interesting, I can now include the screenshots and the images around the text and see what's going on. So I get the benefits of good note taking from these sessions. And for places where I am multitasking, I actually get to catch up on the reading or say, did they really say that? And scroll right back. Incredibly, incredibly powerful. Um, some fun little tips and tricks. I hope this is useful. Uh, if this is, please let me know. Um, I've got a you know, setup and I'm always looking to improve my AV uh, camera setup and rig and things like that. If you like this, uh, do look at my studio tour. I walk through how my whole system is set up. Um, multiple monitors, lighting, camera setup. Um, spend a lot of time thinking about this stuff because professional video is really important.